Okay, on this video, I want to show you how to charge a 410 refrigerant. 410 refrigerant using a single scale manifold. In 410 refrigerant, we use we use between 120 to 140 psi in 14 refrigerant and this is a two horsepower air condition i believe with this you'll be able to charge your air condition at a very safer charging process all to prevent explosion and um, injury so just follow me up to see how it goes While charging an air conditioned compressor, you must be very, very sensitive to always open the valve and close the valve, probably between. 5 to 10 second, 5 to 10 second interval or 3 to 5 second interval so that the AC will be able to assimilate the gas easily. So I've been able to charge up to 20 PSI and we are still continuing. You observe that the refrigerant is coming up. That's why you are seeing this white frozen one quarter pipe. The refrigerant is coming up. When the refrigerant is up to saturation, you observe that this white frozen will totally go off the copper pipe If you observe from here, you will see that the white frozen has actually been relieved of the copper pipe. But filling the copper pipe with your hand, you will see that, or you will observe that it is still very cold, which is not supposed to be so. It is still temperature, which is not supposed to be so. So you continue to charge the refrigerant until it gets to 
120 to 140 psi it can be at 120 it can also be at 130 at range but reaching 140 psi that is the highest it can get to so your charging shouldn't go above 140 psi What are you observing now? You are observing that the calibration is still between 180 psi. Still between 180 psi. You have to get it set on between 120 to 140 psi to get your accurate refrigerant stored in your compressor. This is between 100 to 120 PSI, which I can call this 110 PSI. I can call this a 120 PSI or a fraction less than 120 PSI, but to be very much certain, you call it 120 psi at this point if you should handle your copper kit you observe that it is not as cooled as it was the first time i touched it it is not as cooled as the first one or the first time i touched it likewise your half inch pipe I've just added my refrigerant and it is scaling between it is calibrating between 120 to 130 psi I want to set it up between 130 to 140 psi this is your psi scale this is your psi scale this is where you check your psi scale so as you are charging a 410 refrigerant it should always be between 120 to 140 psi that 120 to 140 psi shows that your compressor is actually up to gauge what can you observe what can you observe 